Hello, my name is Marat. I'm a PhD student in medicinal chemistry and on this channel we're talking about stocks. Today I want to talk about a recent report by Wolfpack on skills. Because I'm invested in this company, I was especially interested to read this report. Let's start with talking what skills is all about. So this is just a platform for mobile games that allow you to basically bet inside these games and play competitive this type of cyber sport. But they normally develop some casual small games. So as you can see from the official website, Solitaire, Blackout Bingo, some Bleeds. And if you try to Google these games, basically all of them are very simple and most of them will be played in just like few minutes round and you can put your money and who will win will get the money. I tried to open and see what kind of ratings they have. So 4.6 stars, it's quite good in my opinion. Then if you're going to the next one again, 4.6, next one 4.5 and 4.6. So for me, just it's an indication that these games are enjoyable for public. And if we go into this blackout bingo, it's actually mentioned as a number one in this sector. And they allow it to use their platform for game developers to put their games and then they share the profit with game developers. So as you can see, yesterday was a red day for skills. They lost 11% in normal hours and then one more percent in after hours. And this is mostly due to this short seller report. If you're talking about skills, we have to take into consideration that whole tech industry is going down. And if you put short seller report on top of this, it's no surprise that they lost 11% in normal hours and then one more percent in after hours. So let's open Wolfpack report and see what this is all about. So here we have official website for Wolfpack report and you can download copy for yourself if you want, but I'm going to open my copy and go straight to page number six because the first five pages is just a summary. So, and we want to go a bit deeper. So the first point that they're trying to bring here is that number of downloads for their apps are dropping down quite significantly. And if we open this chart from January 2020 all the way to February 2021, and as you can see, in spite of this consistent growth, it's slowly declining. I would say even sharply declining because in the third quarter, everything was fine. And then fourth quarter, all of a sudden, it's already very low growth. And in this first quarter of 2021, they project in February, it's going to be a negative growth. So first of all, we need to consider that they supply this information from third party app data. So it's not official, it's not from Google Play, or it's not from Apple Store. So this is you have to take into consideration if you believe these numbers or not. Also, you have to take into consideration that February is the shortest month. So naturally, it will be 10% lower number. So here they highlight that most of the downloads were just from one app, Blackout Bingo, that went viral in March. And here I don't quite get it because as you can see in January and February, growth was quite sharp. Then in March, it was actually a bit lower in spite of this going viral Blackout Bingo. Then it was just jumping up and down. And yeah, I don't see this trend that it's all about going viral from blackout bingo. So in this second point, they bring bringing up that skills is heavily reliant on just three games that they generate 88% of revenue. And I agree that it doesn't look that good. And also they just pointing it out that growth in terms of downloads for these apps is also on a decline right now according to the data that they supply from third party data provider. So it's not official, just, just to underline this. And they saying that based on these data, projections of 146% year over year, revenue growth is simply unattainable. If you invest in skills, this is what you should pay attention to. So they will be making these earning calls on last quarter of 2020, just tomorrow. And also Wolfpack is mentioning that they're going to pressure them with some challenging questions about 
whole 2021 projections and how they unachievable. So in the third point, they bring bringing up that former employees are saying rubbish about this company and saying that they too reliant on Apple Store instead of being reliant on both Google Play Store and Apple Store. And also they saying that large studios are unwilling to touch this platform that developed by skills because this platform is not robust enough to handle their needs. So this is something that could be worrying, but as well you have to take into account that large studios are not interested to share their profit with some other companies. So this might be a plus and minus at the same time. So it will depend on how you look at this. So this one made me laugh. One former skills employee, we spoke to my following statement regarding skills reputation in gaming industry. That in gaming industry, skills doesn't have a good brand recognition and most of the players in the industry consider them as a joke. I mean, you don't have even name of this former employee, so it could be just some random guy from Reddit saying this and I should be making my investment decision just based on this. For me, it's not serious enough. So here's a saying about that skills being kicked off from Google Play in 2013 but they reasonably add that basically it was related to all money making gaming apps so it wasn't just for skills further they saying that google reversed the policy and allowed gambling apps as a draft king or other spot betting apps but not skills because this is still violate the new policies that they introduced and this is new rules effective from march of 2021 and Wolfpack specifies that the last bullet point, it looks like it was specifically designed to just eliminate skills from Google Play Market. But for me, I feel this is just what Google believe in and they decide to allow more traditional gambling like sport betting on their platform. But this is something too experimental and because they have always problem with children wasting money and then parents complaining and because these games are, could be played by children as well. So I feel this is just a decision that Google made and they decide to stick to it, at least for now. So I wouldn't be worried too much about it. This is another sentence that made me laugh on this page. We'll see how well Mr. Paradise keep his composure when pressed. We have heard that he doesn't react well to criticism. I mean, if you're really trying to be professional, and say some facts about it, uh, it's not the way you put words. We'll see how he will respond under pressure. I mean, for me, it's kind of childish. It's almost like a bully in a kindergarten just trying to press somebody against the wall and saying that, oh, who is the boss now? Mm, not serious enough. The next one is number four. It's about NFL deal with skills. As you can see, when it was announced in February, share price just skyrocketed then it was brought down and then because of general tech sell-off it went all the way down. Wolfpack highlights that timing of this announcement was perfect for skills because new shares made available for sale on February 8 so this way they could have been sold at this inflated price but I didn't find any inside the seller reports so if you do find it please leave it in the comments below and I'll have a look at this. Then Wolfpack continued by saying that they created developer profile on skills platform but couldn't find anything about NFL deal. But I have to mention that according to official information from skills, this challenge should start in the second quarter of 2021. So no information for now, it doesn't seem too suspicious to me. Also they mentioned that they tried to search NFL.com for any mentioning of skills but didn't find anything. And I believe this is quite important because if they couldn't find anything, it could be just complete fraud. I tried to Google myself and I found that NFL has a separated website for press releases and any other news that are not sports related. So they're trying to keep entertainment separately from the business. And it makes sense. Here is that website of NFL communication. So you can see that it's nflcommunication.com and this is the announcement with skills. And it's basically just the same announcement as it was published on Skills website. If we're going back to the report, they also saying that they attempt to email somebody failed because email just bounced back. And again, if we're going back to this NFL website, 
and this announcement you can see that there are two emails actually mentioned NFL challenge skills.com and another one skills at methodcommunications.com so I tried to email both of these emails and from this one I did receive generic response with your application is accepted thanks for interest but when I tried to send email to this address I didn't get any response so I believe that Wolfpack tried to contact them via this email and I agree that from the publicity standpoint it doesn't look too good but at the same time if you look at emails that designated for actual competition it's NFL challenge at skills.com and when I try to email this one I did get a reply. Next Wolfpack is saying that even if this partnership will be successful skills are not allowed to make football game with 11 VC 11 players because it's exclusive to electronic arts and they have to come up with some different type of game. CEO of skills responded that way that there are many different type of games such as team management, trivia, trading cards and I could go on and on. On this one I tend to agree with this CEO Andrew Paradise just because skills platform is already more designed for casual games and if you're talking about full-scale 11 vc 11 game of football it will be time consuming and it's completely different to what they used to do right now because on average the game takes just several minutes to play so I wouldn't be too worried about this part. Next Wolfpack is going through a list of partnerships of skills that were not quite successful and they also already mentioned here NFL partnership that they're not holding their breath about this one because even if it's going to be successful we need to wait for at least another one and a half years to see what's going on. So do we need to worry about this list of unsuccessful partnerships in the past? Yeah, it may not look great, but again, it will depend how you look at this. Because if you're talking about Google, for instance, Google has plenty of unsuccessful products. So just to name a few, Google Glasses, Google Plus Social Network, or Google Music, and this list can go on and go on. But in spite of all of these, Google is a successful company. Here it's kind of similar to Google in my opinion, in terms of that they provide platform, so you can look at this as a YouTube and if it will be picked up and if game developers start to develop their games using skills platform and populate it with new new games you can look at this and see how growth could be exponential. So the last point in Wolfpack report about skills is about CEO being not qualified and describing himself as a serial entrepreneur while his businesses are not quite successful and they mentioned that he sold one of his businesses and then company that acquired this business went bankrupt in two years and then he sold another business for just less than four thousand dollars which is kind of not great. If you're looking at employment history for Andrew Paradise as you can see he held many different positions before he founded his own business skills and for nine years he's been CEO of skills and I guess in these nine years he could have changed a lot. To summarize this report, Skills definitely has some issues that has to be addressed and it yet to respond to this criticism from Wolfpack. But talking about Wolfpack, they didn't really try hard to find information about NFL announcement because I was able to find it in a press release quite easily. Then Wolfpack tried to reach by email Skills team but email was bounced back and also this is as I said, it's a bit controversial because one of the emails actually was not replying, but the other one was working just fine. Overall, Skills is a high risk stock. It could go exponentially up, but also it can go down dramatically. It can go up if we imagine that Skills will be used as a popular platform for developers to put their games on. And then it will be similar in a way to YouTube. If you imagine that it will go this way, then growth ahead is unbelievable and it's gonna be probably even 10x in the next five years. But if Wolfpack report is right about CEO is trying to pump price for shares and then just dump it, then of course it will go down dramatically. But we have to wait for the response from skills themselves. Personally, I'm not selling my shares in this company because I believe that it can be developed as a platform 
and more developers will join and then will be a lot of growth ahead. And we need to see what's gonna happen after earning call because I believe after this catalyst, share price can go up or down quite significantly. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.